Maybe you can talk to me here. You can go there and you can write in the front of her. Yeah, we're sitting here with Lord and we're fellowshipping him. And I keep telling you people, and a lot of them don't really believe it, that I, I, right now from being frail and falling down, the Lord in here is a witness, right? Yeah. You're falling down that cane all the time, like, and was taking me away. I went down to like 118 pounds and I threw poison, right? Now I have to tell him, people, that he, he, Lord, you're two, two decades younger than me, that's okay, but this, 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 Lord, he tried to squeeze my hand, right? Right? And I just, like, like you would, like, it gently, so to you, the, the, the physical movement of your hand, you could tell there's no muscle straining or nothing. You could, like, you just barely, barely hard enough to maybe break an egg, you know? Barely, not even that, right? And Lord, tell him what happened. What happened? You used your, your hand, right? Yeah, you squeezed it. But did it look like I was applying any pressure? Did it look no. Like, it was like, like you gently picking up. You wasn't up. even squeezing hard. I wasn't even trying, but what happened to your hand? He, he thought I was going to break every finger in his hand, and it couldn't move his fingers, right? No. And yet, I wasn't even using enough pressure to crush an American beer can. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Like you, but you can look at the the, the, the fingers when you're squeezing something, how the t muscles tension up. None of that. My arm, bicep, none of that was tense. And 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 or, Lord and you in an instant there. If I even put a little bit of pressure, nowhere near what I could do, he'd have broken fingers. When I tell them people, the power you just flows through you when you're standing tall for him. And I feel stronger than I felt in a long time. I feel strong like I used to be before. and stronger when I used to climb mountains. Whoa, I, I might even climb a mountain on my adventure. Who knows? Not a high one or anything, because I got better things to do because I'm rolling with Jesus, you know? But if I get a little time off for grins and giggles, I might climb a short one. It's been a while. I used to do it for fun with friends. And I enjoyed it being out with nature. But think on that. Here's, dear Lord, you can't feel better now? Yeah. But you want to try it again? No, we're going to do that camera, right? <laughs> he's, he's 20 years younger than me. I had three of them try it, okay? Now, just a moment ago, though, the one guy here that did get the idols, you know, I was talking to him about I need a new phone because the damn phone doesn't work on here. Mess the cord. He's standing there trying to, you know, and all of a sudden my cat starts hissing, did it not learn? And he got yeah. sick. I didn't know what to tell him to do, forgive me, but like you, you kind of basically, I guess he's kind of like the landlord, I guess, right? Who was looking, I'd like to just pay by the month here at the motel, right? Um, what do you do? Do you, do you rebuke the guy to stand in there? Or is it the idols that are with him? Or what's the deal, right? Because, you know, I said, you get an extender, can I, and I give, I give him a light to the look on his face and practically shit a brick, right? <laughs> I'm not joking. The guy's like, they're, these are guys super healthy, they don't nothing. And they look, they knew, they saw me falling down, the animals coming there, and, and, and I didn't even put any pressure at all. Like, he tried, the two people try to squeeze my hand like they're going to hurt. They're thinking, oh, you're not healed. Like, Jesus. I said, yes, I am. Yeah. And he tried it, and, then, and every one of us failed. Mm -hmm. Didn't you try both biceps one time, or, or was that Craig? Shaking like a, you know, and couldn't even, and sitting there like a little child squeezing my hand. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I never squeezed back because I was afraid I might break their fingers. I commented how I felt like I'd break a rock, crush a rock in my bare hand. I didn't want to find out by hurting anybody. Yeah. yeah. I'll find out the rock later if it needs to. I don't need to. But I mean, if I feel the strength coming through me, and I feel this awesome, if Jesus can do this for me, what can he do for you? I was falling down, you name it. And here I am right now. Think about that. You can fix a broken old man like me give my strength back, what can you do for you? And I got a ton of mails to get it. These are fine, but the, oh man, the, the harvest are coming in. The fruit is much, right? But I'm only an old man, remember? I'm older than most of you out there. And you're sitting on your asses hiding yourself in the back. I've been on the trenches a lot longer than you. The Lord just took me out of them for a while to, you know, do my thing in a cave. But I was doing it way before many of you knew the name or read the diapers. I was walking the streets. Helping people get off drugs and all manner of stuff. While well, you guys just you newly found this thing and came along for some of you. Others have been at it a while. Some are more serious than others. I was just on a time off for bad behavior. But I'm back on the job, standing bold, and I'm stronger than ever. And the Lord will tell you, yeah. don't mess with me. I'm a chosen servant of the Lord. You want to kind of shake hands and try to pull a fast one on me? You're the one that'll be in the hospital with broken fingers. I'm going to fix it for you. That kid, that stuff don't fly. When they try that at the door and they got idols, he's the one in Winston pain, right? And he just at least he smiles and he squeezed my hand. I don't think so. So I hope I can get that phone soon. I didn't even squeeze and look into my hand. He could see him. Then I really need that phone soon. And he took off, right? But hey, he, he says, what do you say? Let's get a month off on that storage. I've been paying for ten years, brothers and sisters. 
on a storage. And it's more, but I got to lower it down to fifty dollars a month. And I was so sick falling down. Every time I tried to go, couldn't get the doors locked or you know, golf balls and all some crap in the way. But all my stuff's missing. My microwave, my voltage inverters, my solar panels, you know, and my, what the diplomas? You, you were there, Lord. Yeah. What did I do with my diplomas? All my diplomas. You said there a whole bunch of them, right? All my diplomas are broken. I had enough diplomas to wallpaper a wall, an entire wall. I got an army of letters behind my name. I need two damn cards or be right on the damn back. I was crazy for a while. I just kept on getting more and more and more stuff that I could add papers. Right? I was crazy thinking knowledge would get me anything. I had money at the yin yang. I was not happy. Right? And here I live now. I don't need anything. The houses are gone. They all of them gone, stolen from me. Well, I gave that one away, but still, same thing. Right? I didn't need any of that. You can't take it, none of that with you. So what's Jesus doing? He's providing me the cash to go and travel the world and buy the land and do right by him. And me, I'm just a nobody. I just one of many. And he does this for me. A nobody or one of many of his children he loves. He loves us all equal. None of us are special in his eyes. He's no respecter of persons. Even though some of you may think you are, you're your nobody. Said, my Lord, raise kings up and cast them down. And if you think you're holy or self-righteous, well, God, the one who healed me, you know, these are, and they, they say there's not a selfish a self-righteous person to me. They're not a righteous person on the planet. How can you think yourself all that in a bag of potatoes when the Lord of Lords thinks there's not one on the planet? For him to say that and me sitting here, sure says a lot, because he cleaned my heart. It fixed my mind. I don't go to the gut of thought both have. And I'm still not good enough to be considered righteous after all that. So if I were some of you, I'd back off and take yourself in the mirror. If a man that God healed and fixed his heart and everything and got a clean heart according to Jesus, is not a righteous man. So what makes you think you are so great and high and mighty? But the first bit of wisdom you'll have is realizing you're nobody and nothing. You're just one like everybody else. You know better or no worse than anybody in God's eyes because he made everybody and he lives, loves everybody. And he can raise whoever he wants up and he can crash them down whenever he wants. As people have learned in the past, you do right by God, he'll raise you up. You turn your back on him and forsake him will forsake you. There's some very interesting verses if you read in there. But I tell you, powerful wisdom. But I went above and beyond because I saw it was there. And I saw, hey, but this saying, you want a personal relationship. I'm seeing this, right? And he said, he was glad I figured it out. And we've been talking a while. So they take, yeah, we got to take some breaks in that long period of time. Expect me to take my baby steps and walk too. Tell me what I need to know. Sometimes you make me laugh. But for the fools out there who don't think you just talk to people, have you ever thought you're just not worth talking to? You can't live in the heart of wickedness. And the heart's involved because people got to invite these into their hearts, as they usually do. People don't even know it's mentioned in the damn Bible. It's a shame I see people. So, oh, it's not in the biblical about the heart and all that. It's written right there in God's holy living word. But they're reading edited Bibles. So, of course, they don't see it. You have to be reading the King James Version, which is the least edited of all. Or you won't even have a clue what your name is. Or even where you are, because many are going to bow down to the fallen ones and their leader. Come on, because they don't want to be the word. And it's also for the probably carrying out of the Bibles, too. And in their Bible, it probably tells them Jesus comes right away and forgets all about Satan. Who knows? I don't want to read them. I know the truth and light. I don't need them. Man. You guys are all trying to prove he's real to each other, whatever. I already know he is. There's many others out there. There's an army of us brothers and sisters out there who know the real deal. You know how I know this? Look who's around Jesus in Revelation 7, 9. That's my family. Some of you are there. Some of you are not. You may look like us, but you're not of us. We already know you're of your father's first murder. Your tears are trying to fake us out. Oh, yeah. Causing division and derision among the things. But I just told you here, Lord. Right? This is the power of the Holy Spirit flowing. I told you I feel strong and growing stronger by the day. Amen. And I'm not the only one. I'm just one of many. I was not given the spirit of fear and cowardice. My brothers and sisters were not given the spirit of fire and cowardice. I just cast out another demon. And Lord, did, was I even angry or yelling? Calmly. I told it, be gone, right? Didn't I? I just told it off, mm -hmm. be gone. And what did it do? Did it cause a fuss? Nope. Did it bother loosely anymore? No. It, it took off, right? Because it has, and what did I do after? I sealed the place, right? I did my own thing, sealing it. Top to bottom, right? Walls and ceiling, right? 
and floor. Right? Sometimes you forget a little area, boom, they, they can vanish into that one moment you're not thinking, right? Lorden's been here enough times when they come, and you can tell when Little C, he knows Little C, he Little C don't do that, right? And then boom, also when Little C's staring at something, starts hissing away, right? Teeth bared, man. And they start doing the, the, the dry heaves. You know the time of day. That's what the Egyptians had it. Get yourself a little pet in case you don't have one. Dogs can see them too, so you know, sometimes they're really good at the angels, but dogs have a, sometimes can be controlled by the animals a little bit more easily than cats. And God, dogs have a more of a tendency to run away. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what's true. You know, you hear some of the scaredy cats or some of the guys, but when it comes to seeing the evil ones, if, they, if that animal loves you, right, it'll pull a little C. But he was chosen for me by God. He picked his father, knowing that mm -hmm. he'd be born to be here right now. Because God takes a long term plan. Because if he didn't, would you be here? He planned ahead to know that we'd be looking at the living word right now. So we'd be ready for when our time came. Some will go, yeah, some will stay. Matter not. Because God is coming here. So all those that went will be right back. People weep, won't love ones in the go, rest in peace for what? Uh, Out of the body and with the Lord. Right? What so, time is it? Ah, uh, it's 128. 